Hi, teachers, parents, and librarians. I'm Dr. Ruth Ballard, a college professor, forensic DNA consultant, and a children's book author who writes under the pen name, Ruthie Ballard. In this video, I want to tell you how one of my novels for middle grade kids, Frankie and the Gift of Fantasy, highlights the need for criminal justice reform and can get the young people in your life talking. You know, most cases of wrongful conviction in the United States involve intrinsic biases in the criminal justice system, including racial discrimination and more broadly entrenched inequities in power, influence, and access to financial resources. Change is badly needed, but the majority of parents and educators lack direct experience with the system, and that's certainly true of most kids as well. I consult with attorneys and the courts on DNA evidence, and I've done that for more than 20 years. In Frankie and the Gift of Fantasy, I draw from that experience to provide preteens a view from the inside, harnessing the power of storytelling to lure them in. Here's the plot. When young Frankie Rousseau disappears through a crack in his bedroom ceiling, whisked off to a distant two-mooned planet for a grand adventure, an innocent man named Jimmy is arrested and charged with his abduction, a crime that never took place. The book follows Mad Frankie's magical transformative adventure across the galaxy, but also Jimmy's tragic tale back on Earth, where he gets all the worst of luck. First off, as a child, Jimmy had abusive and neglectful parents, and this set him up for trouble. I'm going to read a brief excerpt from Chapter 18, so you can see what I mean. Chapter 18, An Innocent Man Jimmy Oscar Albini was raised by an angry, abusive stepfather and a mother who couldn't stay sober. Unlike Frankie, he didn't live in a fine house by the sea, nor was he lucky enough to live in a hut with great aunts and goats. Instead, he lived in a dangerous part of town in a small apartment over a liquor store. Sometimes there was food in the fridge, but often there wasn't, and the seedy characters who came and went, usually with brown paper bags and rolls of money, scared the living daylights out of him. His stepfather's beatings were daily events, usually in the evenings, when Jimmy's mom was hanging out at one of the local bars. Jimmy was the lightning rod of his stepfather's aggression and an easy target. When Jimmy cried out in pain, his stepfather snapped, You're useless, kid. You can't do anything right. And because Jimmy had the gift of doing things right, his stepfather's cruelty devastated him. While another kid with the gift of standing up for the little guy might have learned karate and taken on the abusive man, Jimmy was a gentle soul and grew up feeling terrible about himself, believing he was a bad egg. Jimmy joined a gang of local youths when he was 11. He had no choice if he wanted to survive. The gang provided him protection on the streets and became his pseudo family, replacing the one he'd never had. Most of the gang engaged in petty stuff, vandalism, they called that playing jokes, and spraying graffiti on buildings and sidewalks, they called that playing tag. But there were break-ins and burglaries too, crimes that spelled trouble for Jimmy, even though he didn't plan them and took part reluctantly. Poor Jimmy. And what happened when he was wrongly accused of Frankie's abduction was almost worse. He was railroaded by police and a zealous prosecutor, and failed by a snoozing, jaded defense attorney who assumed he was guilty and did little to help him. In fact, he doodled cartoons during the trial when he should have been objecting to the antics of the prosecutor. Jimmy is a highly sympathetic character and not atypical. He's not a bad person, quite the opposite. Jimmy is naturally gifted at working with his hands and wants nothing more than a normal life. You can find out more by visiting my publisher's website at whipsmartbooks.com, my author artist website, ruthieballard.com, or by joining me on YouTube. I'm also available for virtual school visits where I can dive deeper with your kids. Thanks for everything you do for them, and thanks too for watching this video.